Next step is to set up the grill for indirect grilling. Now, right. Kathy, a lot of uh, sort of the traditional way to cook ribs is by smoking low and slow. I actually prefer indirect grilling for baby back ribs because higher temperature, you melt the fat, you sizzle the meat fibers, the ribs come out a little more crusty. So okay. we have lit the coals in mm -hmm. a chimney starter. And what we'll do now is dump the coals into two piles at opposite sides of the grill. And you can see this grill comes with these little racks, little rails to keep the coals centralized. All right, so that is step number one. Okay. Step number two is to place a foil drip pan in the center. Step mm -hmm. number three is to find your grill grate. Where's your grill grate? Oh, okay. okay. Now, Take a look, and you notice by using this rib rack, we are able to crowd. We could actually cook four racks of ribs in the space. Normally, you could only get two if you laid them flat. Mm -hmm. So that's the next step. Final step, hickory or other hardwood chips, which have been soaked in water for about an hour and drained. And we'll put the wood chips on the coals. And what the wood chips will do is generate that old-fashioned hickory smoked authentic barbecue flavor. Now we're going to have enough briquettes in there too? We are going to have enough briquettes because these cook very quickly and one chimney's worth of briquettes are usually enough to cook up to four racks of ribs. Cooking time on this and between an hour and an hour and a quarter unless you're at a high altitude like I was over the weekend in Aspen, Colorado yeah. and then it takes a little longer Okay, and you can see and smell the smoke is coming up already. Fantastic. All right. Great. So the only thing we need to do now is to sort of turn our grill into a smoker. Mm -hmm. The way we do that is by putting the lid on the grill. We want to adjust the vent holes actually so that they are between the, the two mounds of coals so that as the ribs cook, the, uh, the draft draws the smoke over the ribs. We're looking to work at about 350 degrees, cooking time about an hour. way we control the heat, we open or close the vents at the top right. and the bottom. Right. All right, so. Sounds, sounds like it's going to be easy. Right, now what we'll do is after uh, 30 minutes, we'll start mopping the ribs. Why wouldn't I want to mop the ribs now? Don't want to touch raw meat to, uh, to a mop because then you contaminate it for later. Okay. okay. Sounds good. So that's why God invented beer. Okay. <laughs> All right, Stephen, what comes next? Okay, next step is to mop the meat. Now, you can see these guys are well along. Mm -hmm. We need about 15 more minutes. So this is our barbecue mop, and you actually apply the mop sauce. You just kind of swab it onto the ribs. Look and at that. <clears throat> this will add an extra layer of flavor, of course. It keeps the ribs moist as they cook. And it also, uh, as I mentioned, it gives you something to do. You know, a lot of people at this point might be tempted to put the barbecue sauce on, but right. uh, we still have some time to cook, and I wouldn't want the sugar in the sauce to burn. So right. uh, mop sauce makes you look cool, gives you something to do, but without harming the ribs. Yum. Okay, so let's cover, cover the grill. Take about 15 more minutes. Well, it's been about an hour and 15 minutes, Kathy, mm -hmm. and uh, I think these guys are done. Now, how do you know when a rib is done? Well, first of all, you see how the meat has shrunk back from the ends of the bones right. by about a quarter of an inch. Right. All right. Second test here is you can tear the meat, the bones apart with your fingers. Okay? They have a little resistance. Now, very important point, a rib should not be fall off the bone tender. Okay? The meat should not fall off the bone. If it does, Chances are it was boiled. That is a heresy in my barbecue religion. Got it. Okay. Now, personally, I would just pull the ribs off this way, serve them dry with the sauce on the side. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we can do that. Let's do that with one rib. So if you'll grab that. All right. Put the lid down. Yeah. We've got the platter. Okay. So let's pull one. Let's take one rib out here. Just sort of lift it out. Okay. Okay, so that's my rib, my mm -hmm. rack of ribs. Mm -hmm. I don't know what you all are going to eat, but that's mine. Now, a lot of people like to lacquer or glaze the ribs with barbecue sauce before serving. So this is how that would work. You pull the rib out. Mm -hmm. 
and then place it. We can just move this over a little bit. Place it directly over the fire. And then with our barbecue sauce, this is a lemon brown sugar barbecue sauce. And the recipe is obviously in the book. Mm -hmm. All right, so we base the top with lemon brown sugar barbecue sauce. No worry about cross-contamination here because the meat's completely cooked. Right. And then <clears throat> just, you see, we've moved from indirect grilling to direct grilling. We're just going to sizzle the sauce directly over the fire. So smoke roasting done at a higher temperature between 300, 300, 325 and 350. I know the low and slow guys in the deep south are going to say, wait a minute, that's not barbecue. You know what? It's not barbecue. And when I cook spare ribs, yeah, I like to go low and slow. But for these fatty, uh, well-marbled baby backs, I find the higher temperature is the way to go. I can't imagine that they could be, ever be better than what we've got right <laughs> yeah. here. Yeah, yeah. You see how, look, see how you just kind of, it's almost like the old masters used to kind of put, put a layer of shellac. Oh, it's just, they're gorgeous. Mm -hmm. I can hardly wait. Okay. So, Stephen, these are absolutely gorgeous, and you like to put the sauce on the side? I do, yeah. For me, it's really all about the flavor, the meat, smoke, and spice. And uh, the sauce, it's, it's, uh, it's an embellishment, but the ribs should be able to stand by themselves. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'll never do ribs the same again. Thanks. <laughs>